Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to view few more string functions. I have grouped all these functions in the group 2. So, first function I am going to see it's caret. Moving to Eclipse, I am removing existing code and here just removing spaces from here as well so now caret with the help of the caret function we can find out character at a specified index so whenever we want to find out any character from the string we can pass its index index always start from 0 so like 0 1 2 3 4 so if you want to find out the fourth index value that will be o I am going to run it like s dot care at at fourth index. I'm just running it, and here you can see we are getting O. So with the help of the care at we can find out character at a specific index. Next is replace. Replace means we can replace any character or any string from the given string. So here I want to display capital O on the place of small o. Wherever we are getting a small o, we should display capital O. So here as dot replace old character is my small o. And the new character is capital O. One thing need to be noticed like whenever you are replacing only one character, pass it into the single quotes. Now I'm running it and here it shows capital O on the place of small o. We can also replace part of the string means more than one character on the place of word I want to display testing but here because we are using more than one character so write it into the double quotes running it and here you can see hello testing so here we have seen we have replaced a complete word in previous sessions we have seen like I want to replace so leading in a trailing space we can do it by trim but question come I want to remove this space which display in between so for that we can write like I'm removing this line of code s dot replace and I want to replace space with no value. So in that case, it will remove the space from the string. So we have seen different use of the string. Of the replace method, we can replace one character. Or we can replace group of character, which is called string. Now moving to my next part. So I'm commenting out these two methods now moving to the next concatenate so for concatenation I'm going to show you like here I have string hello world and I have one string India so I want to concatenate these two strings Concatenate means I want to attach these two strings. So here S plus S1. We can directly use plus operator for the concatenation. I'm just running it. Hello world India. One thing you will notice like we are not getting a space in between word and India. So if you want to generate space S concatenate with the space then concatenate with s1 now i'm running it and we are getting hello world india we have seen we can use 
plus operator for the concatenation. Even Java has provided this concat function. With the help of that, we can concatenate strings. So here again, hello world India. But if I want to generate space, then first concat with space then again concat with s1 so we can call more than one method in the same line yes we are doing that and first time we are just concatenating with the space and then with the s1 running it and here we can see we are getting expected result few more methods that we are going to see like substring so here I'm just comment out this. I want to find out the substring. Substring means a part of the string. I want to find out from L to W. So we need to find out by index. So 0, 1, 2. My starting index is 2. 3, 4, 5, 6. So you want to find out till 6. We need to pass starting index 2, but last index we pass index on which value is coming plus 1 means w is coming on a 6 so we need to pass 7 here s dot substring starting index is 2 and the last index is 7 I'm running it so it shows llo space w because starting index is 2 so 0 1 2 so start it from here 2 3 4 5 6 we pass 7 so it will count till 6 so that is substring with the help of the substring we can find out the part of the string moving to next method that is contain and split so first i'm going to show you contains with the help of the contains we can check a part of the string exists in the my main string or not so I'm checking just as dot contains contains and I'm just writing word I just want to check my string contains word or not running it it will return either true or false if contains I'm going to return like my string contains ABC it's going to return false so we can check given string exists in the original string or not so we can use contains for that next is split so with the help of the split we can break a string here i'm taking example like i have a string with hello world india i want to break this string break means we can find out all these words separately so for that we can use s dot split on which behalf you want to split it so i want to be split by space wherever it's going to find out space it will split that so it's going to find out first space over here it will return first value which is hello then second space will be find out over here so that will be my second value and remaining part is the third value so here when we are calling split it's going to return more than one value we can store all these values in a array of type string so whatever the values written by this split i'm storing into the array with the name s array and now we have already seen for each loop so we can run it like i'm running a for each loop on this array and displaying all the values running it so here we see we are getting three values what i have done over here first we are splitting by space so space we are using for a splitter you can use anything in the splitter like if my string is written like that you can use hyphen as a splitter so we can use any splitter 
it's going to return a string after splitting but it might be possible that it is going to return more than one value in our case it is more than one value so whatever the value it is returned we store into the array and now we are running just simple for each loop to pick values from the array i'm just running it again so here we are getting three values So in the session, we have seen many group functions and in next session, we are going to cover the rest of the string functions. So that's all we have for the session. Thanks for watching this video.